In this video, we're going to do something very similar to the last video with one change. We're taking the derivative at some point on a hyperbola given here, and, and this is the hyperbola in the form, well, we'll get to that in a moment. My point is that we're not dealing with a rectangular hyperbola, we're dealing with this kind of hyperbola. If this wasn't clear, and we'll get to exactly what kind of hyperbola this is, but hopefully you can already tell visually. Uh, but I'm going to call this a vertical hyperbola uh, because it touches the y-axis, not the x-axis. So that would mean that I'm going to call this value a, and that's the length from its center at the origin in this case uh, to the vertex, and that's a. And then our other value uh, would be b, which would be somewhere around here. B, and that's in the x-direction. And so the formula for this hyperbola is going to be y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared is equal to 1. All right, and why is the coefficient on y squared is positive because our hyperbola is touching the y-axis. It's, it's going in kind of the vertical direction. Uh, whereas in the last video we had x squared with the positive coefficient and y squared with the negative because it was the other case we had a uh, what I will call a horizontal hyperbola like that. But that's not what we're dealing with today. Today we're dealing with this. And because this isn't you know a, the formal kind of function, it doesn't pass a vertical line test, right? What we're going to do to take the derivative, and the derivative will be dy dx, right? We, we've done this about a million times now. Uh, we're trying to find the derivative of y with respect to x, and because this y is not kind of a formal function of x, we have to use implicit, implicit differentiation, differentiation. There we go. Now what that means is that we're going to be taking the derivative of both sides of this equation instead of trying to solve for y and, you know, taking the derivative of it as if it were a function. Whereas it's really more like two functions, right? We've got this function up here and this one down here, but together they're really not a function. Uh, but, you know, we don't have to worry about all that. All we have to do is take the derivative of both sides. And we're going to have, we're going to take the derivative with respect to x of y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared is equal to the derivative with respect to x of 1. Well, we already know that this over here, the derivative with respect to x of some constant, that's just going to be 0. And then I'm going to split the second part up into two separate derivatives, and I'm going to pull out the a squared and b squared uh, in the denominators as coefficients. So we're going to have 1 over a squared times the derivative with respect to x of y squared minus 1 over b squared derivative with respect to x uh, with respect to x it's a multiply of x squared all right so all we have to do now is actually take the derivatives and simplify so I'm going to do the derivative for this second term here first because it's a little bit simpler uh, the derivative with respect to x of x squared is 2x, so we're going to have negative 2x over b squared. And then on the left, we have y squared here. And this can be broken down into kind of an outer expression, uh, which is going to be x squared, and an inner expression, which is our y in terms of x. Here's our y. And though I'm not going to say function exactly because it isn't a formal function, it is still an expression and the chain rule will work here. And of course that is what we'll be doing because um, the derivative of y with respect to x is still defined, it's just not defined only in terms of x. So the, how we do implicit different, uh, I'm sorry, the chain rule at this point, you, you should have this down. Uh, we're just going to take the derivative of that outside function, x squared. That's going to be 2x, but we plug in y. So this is going to be, uh, we're going to have 2y 
over a squared, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of that inner expression, which is y, so times the derivative of y with respect to x, and then this is what we have, equals zero. So now all I'm gonna do is add two x over b squared to both sides. We have two x over b squared is equal to two y over a squared times dy dx. I'm just gonna divide both sides by uh, 2y and multiply both sides by a squared, so we're going to have that dy dx is equal to, it's going to be a squared over 2y times 2x over b squared. It's really just the same as dividing by 2y over a squared. So our final answer is going to be that the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to, these twos cancel out, we have a squared x squared over b squared y squared. Almost identical to the formula that we found in the last video, but a couple things are switched around. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, this series of quick videos, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.